Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube. We're going to be talking a little bit about the IC Internet Computer Ecosystem news, but this video will mainly focus on the charts here in just a minute. So let's dive right into this. One of my favorite projects that is being built up upon Internet Computer is IC1101 World. Now, this is like a metaverse that just, it looks so cool. Let's just watch this video that they release. And the, the, the beta is open for select people as well. I'm going to try to get some access to this but i'm seeing this great graphics i'm seeing like this video footage on the side of buildings this will allow like ic 1101 to run ads things like that uh crypto related whatever they want i'm seeing more video screens over here so like i'm seeing this broad expansive opportunity for um this whole metaverse to really come together and man, this looks cool. So I'm going to really try to get some access to this. I know one person that uh, might be able to help me out. There has been some uh, questions being asked to me if I can cover the SNS one. Uh, I saw this tweet. I put 400 ICP in the order book to buy an SNS one at a low price. And folks, the only place I know where to track the SNS one is on Lighthouse. So if you guys know of any other places where I can view a chart of the SNS one that has like tools for me to uh, draw up patterns and, and, and have indicators other than like the volume, that would be great. But let's just look at the SNS one. And I haven't been really covering this because I don't chase coins. It's the number one way to get burned in trading. But I do remember doing some TA on uh, SNS one like a week or two ago, somewhere in there. And I was kind of like skeptical on it. I was like, there could be some sort of harmonic pattern that is playing out. And I'm not sure if that's the case, but it does look like there was some sort of a descending triangle that did form here or something of that nature. Unfortunately, on the on the daily charts, we're seeing some very bearish engulfing with the candles. Looks like the SNS one started out at 25 and then this thing pumped up to 219. So people have been taking a lot of profits on the SNS one uh, for quite a while. Unfortunately, let's just look at this uh, one hour chart. Okay, so it looks like this thing is kind of kind of dropping down and this appears to be what is known as a bear flag. So this is when you get a nice little uh, bear flag pull and then you get almost like a flag shape uh, consolidation. Uh, so I would expect that this price will go lower. Uh, I'm not over here trying to buy the dip. I'm not over here trying to influence the price. Uh, that's just my honest opinion because I've had several people ask me to do TA on it. Uh, Internet computer has just been walloping, folks. Just been walloping. In the last month, this thing's gone from like rank 43, 44 in the entire crypto ranking down to 34 it is flipping other cryptocurrencies let's just look at who's next uh let's see did they flip near yet uh they flipped near they flipped v chain algorand folks is oh we need about 30 million dollars maybe 40 million dollars uh to the market cap which is nothing to flip algorand uh you know we're a little ways from uh 30 we're a little ways from 30. Uh, so, yeah, this is good to see. I, I'm liking this. I, I don't know how Solana and Avalanche are holding the positions that they are. Uh, but let's look at crypto. Excuse me, crypto bubble. Solana is up. ICP's up. Half a point on the day. 10% on the week. That feels good. That feels really good, folks. And today I dropped this little banger of a tweet. And I thought we would really cover this at a super high level today. ICPTA, ICP completed an Elliott wave. Now an ABC, ABCDE flag pennant retracement is in order. The upside price might drop to 386 and bounce out the 50 moving average on the four hour, then leg up to the 786. The downside, ICP is in a falling wedge. However, this would require the price to move lower. So let's just look at this at a super high level so you guys can understand what is going on at a super high level. Uh, so right now, first and foremost, we'll cover the bad. We'll cover the bad, which is actually pretty good because ICP is on this very nice falling wedge style pattern. 
Uh, this is, is, is a bullish pattern to see. Uh, right now, we can see that there is this Elliott Wave Theory move to the upside. There's no questions about it in my mind. Now, I do think that there is going to be a little bit of an ABC. Maybe we'll see C down here at 387, and then we'll see the price bump. But we could see uh, price kind of come down to the 388 level, maybe come back up to the 406, maybe come down to the 387 level if we get the DE pattern. But if we just get the ABC retracement, uh, we might be seeing this, uh, this C point hit 387. So at that point, we might have somewhat of uh, a, another rally, especially because Elliott Wave Theory tends to move inside Elliott Wave Theory, meaning we might see a bigger move up like this occur. So I am definitely hoping that we get a $5 ICP here within the next few weeks. It would be super nice. And that is really kind of like my bullish uh, prediction. I think we're going to see this three-point maybe come up, uh, do something like this. Uh, you know, we, we could see price kind of move uh, like this to the upside if we break out of this uh, falling wedge pattern. But if we break down here, folks, I don't want to see ICP trading below $3.30. It could happen. It, it very well could happen. We could see ICP come down to this 383 uh, level. If the, if the floor doesn't hold, uh, $3.64 in my opinion um, all day long. So uh, I'm hoping for the bullish scenario, folks. I really am. I've got some trading videos coming out. So if you want to learn to trade like me or you're just curious and learning technical patterns, uh, regular patterns, indicators, uh, harmonics, you name it. I am going to be covering it. And starting today, after this video, I'm going to have a series of training videos really kind of geared towards beginner traders. Uh, but there's some good information in there, even if you're an advanced trader, that you can take a peek at, maybe sharpen that pencil. So I love you all. I hope you guys all have a wonderful New Year's, and we'll see you guys all next year.